Hey guys, Inferno here with a first look at uh, a game called US Spy Mission in Russia. So this game came out uh, 15th of February 2020, developed by AD, published by Hamsters Gaming, and thank you guys for the review key. So in this game, you have to become a spy from the USA. Your key goal is to incite a revolution in Russia. It's the right time to bribe officials and lawmakers just to make them do those unacceptable things and accepting ridiculous laws. People have to get out on the street and riot. So it's quite a, just looking at the same page, quite an interesting concept. So let's go new game. The government is truly worried about the current situation in Russia. Lawmakers implement fair laws. Officials refuse to steal money from budget. Healthcare and education systems are the best in the world. We have to get involved and change this for the better. What is our key goal? Officials in Russia have to represent corruption and venal practices. People have to call Parliament State Dumba because of the ridiculous laws. Here's your main task. You have to increase the level of dissatisfaction of Russians to push them to make a revolution. However, you need to be truly careful because our budget is strictly limited. Start your mission. Okay, so use various events cards to proceed. Sometimes in order to use a card, you may need to pay some money while in other cases, you will be able to earn a fortune. The most important is to remember that each card will increase the level of discontent and dissatisfaction. Every three rounds, people will perform a rally or a protest. The higher is the level of discontent, the bigger is the number of protesters, and the closer is victory. Now, don't waste your time. All right, so task budget is 15 million. Trust in the president is 86. The lower is the rating the president, the closer to the prize. Unhappy citizens are ready to protest against the regime and participate in rallies. So this is us. I think. Enemy cards. TV channel. Must go under the umbrella. Oh, we can be proud of it. <clears throat> and then down the bottom. Player cards. So we can't click any of those, but we can click some of these things. So steal money during the construction of the Vostochny Cosmodrome. Open more waste dumps instead of recycling plants. Stealing budget money. Hungry soldiers. Criminal proceedings for posting memes. <laughs> Close 50% hospitals. So that's a bit harsh. Let's steal money from the budget. Let's steal money on something directly related to the pride of Russians. What are Russian people proud of? They are proud of Gagarin and the Second World War. <clears throat> Let's steal money in, a, in the field of space and cosmonautics. Let them steal more than $300 million during the construction of the resolution. Take a look at Ukraine. Just look at what's happening in Ukraine right now. <clears throat> you would totally forget about your problem there because you would have other issues to resolve. What you're saying may very well be true. Let them pee as long as they need. The main thing is not to follow the path of you, you okay. So we've got 20,000 unhappy citizens next turn. Okay. Now. <coughs> Open more waste dumps instead of recycling plants. We can block the process of construction of 50 recycling plants all around Russia. How will it help? Giant waste dumps will show people that their government doesn't really care about them. Moscow became such a beauty under Sobyanin, mayor of the capital. If you continue to act like that, we're going to stop removing the waste from houses and cities. Damn.
Okay, so it was, there's a public rally in one more day. We've got 100,000 unhappy citizens. Now, let's go to... Let's go criminal proceedings for posting memes. Mm -hmm. Agent 1, why is the level of protest so low? People spend a lot of their time in social networks. They use them to pour all their out negative emotions. That's a good point. <clears throat> all we have to do is ban this type of activity for them. We need to implement a law that allows sending people to jail for just posting a meme. What a lovely idea. Let's say that such actions offend the religious feelings of people. We can give them three years in prison for such violations. We are true Christians and we had to show their place for their, those atheists and other heretics. If someone is offended by the picture in one of the social networks, while you liked or reposted it, you have to face criminal proceedings. That's crazy. We will show you how to love God in a right way with us atheists. Jesus. All right, mission complete in 97 seconds, I guess. Uh, in 1997, maybe? Okay, so the trust in the president has dropped 13%. Okay. <clears throat> right, an expert from the state press claims about harmful effect of Dota 2. I totally agree. That makes me rage so much. Is that Doka 2 or Dota 2? Let's try. Let's deal with the gaming community in Russia. What is the most popular game in Russia? Dota 2 is one of the most popular titles. Let one of the experts use one of the state media to inform people about the most meaningless Jabberwocky in the world. We need to show the audience that the expert on the state media is just a silly clown. We can use this speech to ban such games without any real reason. We can even use a far-fetched uh, issue for that. It's going to be extremely funny. They play Doka 2 and then kill people in real life. Well, that's a bit harsh. There's such a game called Doka 2. The idea is to kill zombies or you are a zombie. All I know is that you need to use m many different ways to eliminate people. For example, there's a weapon which can be used to take someone's guts out for 10 minutes. That's nuts. <coughs> in addition, you can create virtually any scenery, example your school, and just explode it. Well, that's a bit silly. I'm really shocked as things do exist these days. Why is this game banned? I agree, that one's pretty shit. <coughs> Next turn. Okay, so we've got 14 million left. So we can challenge an op 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 oppositionist to a duel. Make a scandalous statement in order to highlight the problem of low salaries of teachers. Yes, agreed. <coughs> when someone complains about how about low salaries, one of the officials has to let them tell them that we are not going to change anything. This is clearly too much. Ask him to tell that if teachers want to earn some money, they will need to find another job. Hardy ha! Who will ever agree to say such a ridiculous thing? Dimitri, of course. It is good salary. <laughs> the salary of the regional teacher is just $200, while local policemen get more than 800 That's a bit... That's unfair. I agree. Teachers made their own decision. They wanted to teach children. Well, that's a bit silly. If they wanted to earn real money, they would go to the field of business. Dimitri. But they don't want to. They are still trying to teach someone. Being a teacher is a vocation. It has nothing to do with money. Well, that's a bit rude. Alright, we've got one more day, so let's let's steal from the budget. Film Russian Blockbuster. What movie franchise is the most popular in Russia? I think it's the Avengers and the X-Men film series. Actually, it's the same else everywhere, it is true. We need to make a movie to kick the crap out of Hollywood. However, this movie has to earn not more than three points in the Russian version of IDMDB. <laughs> it's going to be a serious task, but we already have the right person. We are able to create the real movie universe. Russian cinema managed to reach a totally new level. We are about to create the real movie universe. <laughs> the RMU. Okay. Nice. Okay. 
Right, so we can get 8 million there. Um, the scandal with the head of the village. Moving the premier of the long way to move. Yeah, let's do that. Which new movies in Russia will attract? Did I just do this? The Avengers. Perfect. Now we need to use a contrived pretext to delay official premieres of international movies for at least a couple of weeks. We need to postpone all the foreign movies to give all the limelight to Russian premieres. In order to increase the number of angry people, we need to postpone the premiere of the Avengers several times for the first and second. What can be wrong? We just want to support Russian movies. Aren't we the real patriots of the country? Okay, so we got North Korea is the best friend to Russia. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. We need a toxic ally for for Russia. We need to find a terrible dictatorship where the government tortures and kills their own people. We have a country with more than 150,000 political prisoners, while conditions in local jails are worse than in fascist Germany. I think we've just found a perfect ally for Russia. Who can it be? It's North Korea, of course. What a wonderful idea. Now let Russia write off the debt in the amount of $11 billion. Friendship has to be built on such a solid foundation. We need to allow North Korea to have nuclear weapons. We need to allow North Korea to have... Hmm, Vladimir. Uh, well, I think it makes sense. Those Americans won't... I need to impose sanctions on there, here and there. <coughs> what could be wrong if a dictatorial... Di yeah, a dictatorial country wants to produce a couple of nuclear missiles. What can go wrong if they just th th threat all neighboring countries to destroy them with bombs? This country is our ally and a close friend now. They are one of the most reliable friends. They can't be compared with the useless Ukraine, Poland, and Baltics. Hmm, political. The grand opening of the first warm toilet in the oral region. What does that mean? Let's show that this school never had a warm restroom during the last 145 years of existence. Yes, it will definitely shock the public audience. What is the connection between Ukraine and the lack of normal restrooms in the village schools? Ukraine won't have gas very soon, and all the members of the junta will be frozen to death. Take a look. We're doing much better here. All right. <coughs> okay. Right. So we've got 13.5 million left. We've got 59% in trust in the president. <coughs> Tell the people that tell people tell that people with low salaries in Russia simply have to eat less. That's a bit rude. Decrease products. We just need a decreased level of competition. It's the right time to ban all the food products from the EU, the USA, Canada, and Australia. What a lovely idea! Hey, leave Australia out. The less high quality products in the market, the lower is the overall quality and the higher is the number of substitutes. Here's the funniest thing, Russia has to be the author of these sanctions to act against its own citizens. Sanctions against the USA and Europe. <coughs> in order to answer the sanctions of the EU, the USA, Canada and Australia, we impose sanctions on the majority of the food products from the mentioned countries. What a right decision. Now those Yankees will see what is what, but how are you going to live without Yemen? Don't be worried about us, we can use our private jet to fly and buy whatever we need. What about us? You are the best patriots of the nation, thus all you have to eat is your patriotism with some palm oil. <laughs> okay. Still money during the construction. We need to make some truly something truly unconscionable which bridge is the longest in the world the danyang kunshan grand bridge is eight times longer than the crimean bridge but you clearly understand that we need to steal more than usual as a result the price of the bridge has to be at least the same don't tell me a single word more we decided to use our best agent this time the crimean bridge is eight times shorter yet the price is three times higher this is a truly historic event finally oh damn we got no hand heavies okay Right, now I've got to do something filthy. 
re the representative of the United of Russia tell people that they have to eat less if they can't find enough money for living. This is the moment of glory for Ilya Gafna. Have you seen the national debt of the USA? Those Americans are bankrupt already. Boom. All right. Okay. We need to allocate more money for Gazprom. We'll let them use tax credits. Increase the retirement age. Prohibit. Let's do that. What is the average lifespan of a man in Russia? It's around 66 years. Let's increase the retirement age right away. Let Russian man be retired only when they reach the age of 65. Do you want them to enjoy the retirement pension for just a year? But they paid 30% of taxes for each and every salary throughout their lives. What a bit of sarcasm. One needs to give 30% throughout life to enjoy the retirement pension for just a year. I kindly ask you to understand the seriousness of the case. I kindly ask... Uh, yeah. Right. Prohibit gas companies to install pipelines in villages. One third of the population has no access to gas. That's pretty crazy. What's red mean? Let's try it. Well, you can't use it. Oh, I got bloody no budget. Shit. Okay. We know how to steal a lot of money in the field of gas. We need to make Gazprom paying fewer taxes in order to allocate more money for the managers of the company. Don't tell me a single word more. We are going to reduce their taxes by $10 billion. Do you want to have the same scenario as in Ukraine? Okay. <clears throat> now let's do the uh, subversive. John, we are ready to pay virtually any amount of money, but the pipeline has to be built in the regions. We will need the colossal amounts of money to bribe all officials. All officials are constantly thinking about the people in Russia. We can't save money on them. One third of the population has to live without access to have the gas line. Crazy. They need, they just need to wait a bit more. We are going to build everything in just 10 years. You already have been told this 10 years ago. No, it was me. I promised that we would build it in 10 years in 2005. Mala never said anything like that. Oh, well, okay then. Alright, so halfway the rig 3 looks like. <coughs> we should have built in 85. If that means 85 years, I'm not sure. Okay, is there any way to earn money in this one? No. It's going to have to do it a little bit cheaper so let's do increase the interest rate for loans for russians twice let's increase the loan interest rate for russians the less they buy the lower is the income of companies and people's happiness how are we going to make it the second largest state bank called spurbank offers loans for seven percent in check run public thus it has to offer at least ten percent russian citizens isn't it too soft for them maybe it should be twice higher than in czech republic what a great decision agent the very same state bank has to offer loans with a rate of 13 percent the interest rate for loans is decreasing. The deputy head of the largest state bank in Russia ask a question. Why does your bank offer mortgage loans with the interest rate of 7% in the Czech Republic while Russian citizens can take the same loan with a rate of 13%? What a great question. This is the best question of the day. You are the winner and you will get the CD as the author of the best question of the day. Congratulations. During the next 30 seconds, I would like to listen to my song. In fact, this was the perfect lesson of communication. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. Now, what is a cheap one? We've only got 7.2 to do the 1.5s. Oh. <clears throat> this one. Hire a thousand agents to pee in the entrance halls of the buildings on a regular basis. Well, that's filthy. Russians will never guess who stands behind this evil action. How did they understand that we had done it? You need to prepare better next time. Oops. Um, and then need a ch another cheap one. Allocate the minimum amount of funds for people who suffered in Irkutsk. There's massive flooding in the Irkutsk region. We need to show that local authorities don't care about the people. Let's pay some money to those suffering from the flooding. But the amount has to be despising and as tiny as possible. Let's pay ten to $15,000 for each destroyed house. 
Divide them out by 10 and implement the plan. Jesus. Russia has a heart of gold. Yes, we clearly understand that 38,000 people lost their homes, but you have to know that the state thinks and cares of you. That's why I'm going to, uh, going to help each person build a new home. We'll pay up to $5,000 for each destroyed house. You'll need to remember that Russian government will always support you even in the most difficult situation. Oh, we only lost a little bit then. Right, is there anything to earn money now? Uh-oh, we're getting to the end of the money. Oh, damn, this is not going to work. The country is suffering from a relatively high level inf of inflation. Or if we ban to increase the retirement pensions? What a great idea. Okay. So now we've only got 3,000 left. 3 million, sorry. Oh, jeepers, what are we going to do? Oh, let's just do this one. Plant fake evidence and hire drugs in the bag of a journalist. We need to show that one can easily offend even journalists and reporters in Russia. Ask the police to put drugs in the bag of Mr. Gulenov, yet we all know that he would never use drugs. It's simply beyond good and evil. Don't worry, it'll be obvious to everyone that he's not guilty and they will set him free. Admit to making a mistake? Have you not seen that he is already free? Someone put drugs in his bag. Who was that? Three months have passed, but they could not find the offender. Who arrested him? Do we have to put those policemen who put his drugs in his bag to jail? We can't destroy the honour of the regiment in such a horrible way. Let them just work as as before. The most important is that Mr. Golanoff is free and all charges against him are dismissed. No! Defeat. Many of us predicted it would happen one day. We shall overthrow the system. Otherwise, it's going to enslave us very soon. Unfortunately, we are lost in a secret battle. However, this is not the real world. Thus, you can always start from scratch. What a pity that we don't have this very same button in reality. Just remember this important thing, my friend. All right, let's exit that. Okay. So my name's Inferno. This was my first look at US spy mission in Russia. It's a funny one. It's about, yeah, managing your budget and trying to piss off the citizens in the best way. Weird, weird, but yeah, harmless fun. Alright, have a good weekend gaming and I will see you next time.